Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Fantasy Star on the Wii Virtual Console. Last episode we did the side quest to get a uh, Meow a uh, weapon. Now we can continue on with the main plot by heading through this small passageway. It's going to take us under the river um, to a new um, land area where we're going to basically start a whole new quest that will eventually end in us being able to get our own spaceship. So this guy said he's busy. We're going to learn who that guy is in just a little bit. Uh, we're going to come back and visit him later on. But, uh, spoiler, he's an assistant to a scientist uh, in the next town. And that scientist is the one who is going to end up building uh, a spaceship for us uh, to allow us to travel to different uh, places on Motavia and on uh, Dezolus. Right now we're only able to go to uh, Paseo on Motavio for the spaceport uh, in Palma here. So, uh... We're really uh, limited in where we can go, but once we get our own spaceship, we'll be able to travel to a whole bunch of new places the world will really open up on. Uh, so, this village has seen uh, better days. We can see that a lot of the uh, buildings are in ruin. Some of the people here uh, are going to ask us for that cola to speak with us. This guy just blocks off. You cannot come through here. This is my area. Eventually, when you get a spaceship, it'll be over parked over there to the side, so that guy just blocks us off from eventually getting to where our spaceship will be. Can spare a cup of cola? Sure. Thanks, this was once the lab of Dr. Lavino. He went bonkers though, and is imprisoned in Triadad to the south of here. Okay. And we're going to, uh, he's going to be the doctor who will help us build that spaceship. So we've got like, another room building here. Talk with this guy here. He wants some more cola. He tells us not to go near the tower at the End of the narrow road from which goes from Gothic Forest through the mountains. A magic beast lives there. Look at it and it'll turn you to stone. So that's a, uh, a reference to Medusa. Medusa, uh, when we leave this town, there's going to be a split. Uh, there's going to be a mountain passage. Uh, to the left, if you take that passageway, that'll take you to uh, that'll take you to uh, Medusa's tower. We don't want to go there because Medusa's tough, and we're going to need some certain equipment to deal with Medusa. You could go there now, and if you're really lucky, defeat her. Um, as long as Alice has the rope spell, uh, that basically stops an enemy, uh, makes them lose a turn. Like we saw that like, some of those spider enemies we fought, they'd shoot a web and it'd be like, you know, Alice lost her turn, or Odin is like, uh, trapped in bindings. If you're lucky, you can use that to uh, basically bind Medusa and defeat her early, early. But we'll just do it uh, normally, so. Yeah, so we're going to avoid the passenger on the left, and we're going to head to the one on the right. Run into a few new enemies here, like this vampire. They always drop a flash, but we don't need flashes anymore, so it's just basically extra five, um... I mean, ten Mercedes every time we get one of them. Because they sell for ten, so... And we're going to uh, head get down this way, just hug the wall. I some more of those vampires, and just kept this one in here real quick, the, the owl bears. You can also start running into those skeleton monsters that were the boss in that uh, last uh, side area that we went to, get the uh, the Iron Fang from Yao. So yeah, now they're a common enemy here, so... But they're not too, too difficult, so... Let's just take a little bit of time. One of the most important things we want to do, though, is... Uh, you saw that I stopped um, in the church back in uh, the town that we just uh, left. Uh, the reason we want to stop there is because we can transport to, we use that uh, teleporter, uh, or you can use a spell eventually to teleport yourself back to the last uh, church you visited. This uh, quest that we're going to do is going to take us through a long uh, lava field and through several dungeons and uh, a few different towns. So we can skip a whole bunch of backtracking if we visit this, cho this church uh, in Gothic. That's the uh, village to the north there. And we don't visit any of the churches in the other towns that we visit. So once you get to the end of the quest, we can just use the teleporter or the fly spell to get back to there and uh, avoid a whole bunch of backtracking. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So, but first to start this quest, we gotta go down to the prison here to find uh, Dr. Lavino, the guy who went insane. So, I don't know why one insane person building a spacecraft, 
maybe he's not really insane, just that, you know, maybe Lassic, uh, you know, just imprisoned him, uh, for whatever reason. Maybe he's, like, like, a critical prisoner, and that was just the excuse they used for, uh, putting him in jail. You don't know, but the point is, he's going to be very important for us, because he's going to be the one who's going to end up building the, uh, personal spacecraft for us. So I'm gonna make a quick save here. There's, um, the prison has no enemies, um, except for the initial guard, uh, the robot cop. You don't have to fight the robot cop, though. Uh, as long as you have a road pass, and you give it the road pass, uh, he'll let you into the, uh, prison. But if you say you don't have the road pass, or you don't want to show it to him, then he will fight you. I'm just gonna fight him just to, uh, you know, uh, show him off, show off his stats. Uh, but you don't have to fight him. He's like a respawning enemy, so if we say no, that's when it's going to initiate the fight. So, I just want to take him out uh, real quick. We'll have Alice and Noah use their fire spells. Because we'll be healing up uh, after this. And there's no need to really hold on to our magic. Because, like I said, there's no enemies in here. You know, other than this robot cop that you don't have to fight. Now, he respawns, so if we, like, took a step forward and then took a step back, he'd be here again. Uh, if you do show him the road pass, uh, which we will later on, he just basically says, okay, you can pass, and you don't have to fight him, but I wanted to fight him just to, uh, show off his stats and stuff. And we're gonna have to do a little bit of Meseta farming, uh, later on. So this gives us uh, some of the Mercedes that, uh, we need, so... so there we go. And we got a level, nice. We get 156 Mercedes, nice. Alright, so here's the prison. Uh, we just want to go around and talk with all the prisoners. Uh, none of them are really super important to talk to, but like I said, I like to get all the uh, all the dialogue, and uh, some of them give some clues uh, about stuff to uh, we're going to worry about in the future. So let's give this guy our last bit of cola. If you say no, he says I got nothing to tell you. Let's give it to him. Spider monsters are actually very intelligent. Now we're gonna actually run into a spider monster that's uh, a prisoner in here, but it'll actually tell us a good clue. So, every single one of these cells, we're gonna have to use the dungeon key to open up, go in, talk with the prisoner. The tower deep in the Gothic Mountains is known as Medusa's Tower. We are told about that. Not to go there, because a mystical beast there. That's the one that turned Odin into stone. Eventually we got a shield that'll protect us from that stone, but... So there's that, uh, spot spider. Polymethyl will dissolve all materials except for Laconia. And we're gonna learn more about that, uh, material. That melts stuff. Because it's gonna be the way that we're going to find, uh, a robot in a scrap heap. So that it can melt anything but Laconia. We're gonna find a big heap of scrap, and this robot's made of Laconia. So, if we just throw the stuff on that scrap metal, it'll melt everything but the robot. Let's talk with this guy. I've got a friend in Vortebo. He's probably having a hard time because of the lava. Why not visit him? Uh, Vortebo is one of the towns we're going to have to go visit on this quest to get a spaceship and a robot to pilot the spaceship. So, he's just giving us a little bit of a heads up. We're going to have to go through a lot of uh, lava. Lava's gonna take uh, two hit points per step every time we step in it. So, not, uh, not good. But uh, some of the grinding we're gonna be doing is to be able to afford some uh, extra burgers to heal ourselves up when walking through those lava. Do you know the robot has me? No. It's all made of Laconia, but it has been abandoned somewhere as being useless. And that goes back to that, he's basically in that scrap heap. If we say we do know it, he'll basically tell us never mind. Let's keep going. Keep searching all the prisoners here. Eventually we'll run into the doctor. On the far side of the mountain lies a pool of molten lava created by a volcanic eruption. Then unfortunately we're going to have to walk through. But I guess we have to do what we have to do to save the world. Talk to some more prisoners. Treasure chest, but it's empty. They're not gonna keep money in the prison. Nope. 
I guess we could get a little bit of money though. Uh, there was a, a one of the prisoners that does attack us. Uh, it's, uh, not this door, but the door straight to the head at the at the junction. And this is the door where we find Dr. Lavino. So once again, this guy's gonna be trouble for us. He's gonna be like, no, I don't want to help you. So can't accept the responsibility, but if we are persistent, we talk to them three times, he's finally gonna give us in. You certainly are persistent. Well, if you do as I say, I will help you. Is that a deal? If you say no, he says, if you don't obey me, I cannot help. But we're gonna say yes, because we don't have to go through all that dialogue and meeting him all over again. So we're just gonna tell him, yeah, we can, uh, we'll listen to you. And now he uh, leaves and he heads back to Gothic. We don't have to go into this uh, cell because there's this skeleton monster in here. I guess this uh, prisoner died, he was in here too long. But we'll take him out because we can use some experience in uh, Mercedes. That Mercedes grinding I'm going to do off screen, but I'll let you know when I do it, so we'll do it once we get back to uh, Gothic. So that's all we have to do here in this, uh, uh, this uh, prison. Heal ourselves up. Not that we need to heal ourselves here, uh, but you know, like I said, we're going to do some grinding uh, after this because uh, in order to build a spaceship, uh, Dr. Lavino is going to need a little bit of a down payment, I guess, to buy the materials needed. And we're going to need some uh, money to buy, like said, some burgers and stuff to heal ourselves up when we eventually go walking through that lava. We don't want to waste our MP. So yeah, the robot always respawns here, even if you just instantly defeat it. But just show this pass and it'll let you through, so. Alright, let's head back to Gothic. Dr. Lavino got back there, I don't know how he did, maybe he had a transfer, or he's pretty tough and he can take on these monsters by himself, or he just gets lucky like us, and runs into no random encounters on the way back. Now, Dr. Lavino is in the, uh, the house on the left here. So we're gonna go uh, talk with him. We'll sell these uh, flashes that we picked up. And every time we fought one of those vampires, they drop a flash. So let's just clear out some inventory space and uh, see how much money we need to grind. So, like I said, we're gonna want to get uh, about uh, 1,400 uh, Mercedes, 1,200 for the uh, ship, and then. Uh, 200 to just get a bunch of, uh, uh, what should I call it, uh, burgers for healing. So I just sold the last cola we had there just to show off the dialogue when we talk to this guy. If we offer him a cola, yeah, let's give him a cola. Don't be a fool. Yeah, if you don't have any colas in there, but you say you're going to give him one, he's basically called you a fool. Ah, it's getting late. Fetch my assistant. He's likely hiding in the underground passage. So yeah, that guy who said, uh, you know, leave me alone, I'm busy. That is Dr. Lavina's assistant. Now that we got Dr. Lavina out of jail, we can go talk with him, and this guy's gonna be a little bit more receptive to us. What, Dr. Lavino has returned? He'll build another spaceship? I'll be there right away. And, uh, so he goes back to Gothic. And now we're gonna go back to Gothic. Uh, I guess when we get here, though, uh, we're going to need to have the 1200 Mercedes, so we're going to do a little bit of grinding uh, outside of Gothic just to get that uh, that money. So I step outside here, I did about 15 minutes of grinding, got the money I needed. Now I'm going to head back into Gothic here and give that uh, 1200 Mercedes to Dr. Lavino. He's going to build the spaceship surprisingly fast. All you have to do is visit him three times. Now that my staff is assembled, I can begin. There's, a, however, a slight fee of 1,200 uh, Mercedes involved. There's a typo there. And if we say no, he's like, too bad you've come too far, but we have the Mercedes, so we're going to give it to him. So yeah, however... So please wait one moment, and then we just have to, like several of the other characters, we can talk to them three times, like the secrets, uh, to get the secret passport in Scion, and then to get the doctor to help us in the prison. We just have to uh, come back and talk with him three more times. And after the third time, he will have the ship done. I present a superb spaceship, the Lavino. But you can't fly a spaceship. You must find a robot named Hasby. He can fly a spaceship. He's the robot made of uh, Laconia. And uh, we're going to need that uh, material to melt the junk that he's buried under. 
that's going to be a whole big long side quest. It's going to take us, like I said, through a whole bunch of lava. So uh, to help us through that lava, like I said, we're going to head back to uh, Kamenit to buy a bunch of burgers. Because uh, that place doesn't have a food shop. It only has that second hand shop. So we're going to go back, uh, buy some burgers, and we'll take advantage of that uh, free healing that we got from uh, Surya's house. So... Oop. So, take advantage of saving money. We can sell any flash that we got. Uh, like I said, I want to buy two trans transers here. Uh, one to show off what it's gonna do, and then the other one we're going to save for at the end of the big side quest that we're gonna do. So, the transers taste, they basically warp you to the last, uh, huh, the last church that you stayed at. So that was the reason why I stopped at that church in Gothic. It'll save a whole bunch of backtracking later on. Looks like I said, just spend the rest of our money here on uh, burgers. And uh, we'll be ready to uh, go. Because everyone knows that, you know, hey, the best way to uh, cure yourself of being burnt from lava is to eat a hamburger. So, buy as many as we can. I guess we could have bought a cola there, but yeah, there's some other stuff we're going to buy uh, in these towns that we're going to go visit. So, heal ourselves up. And now I'm going to show off with that. Uh, Transfer does. So we just select that, find it, and it's going to take us back to Gothic, to that last uh, church. And like I said, as long as we don't visit any other churches, that is where all transfers will take us. So we're gonna, that's going to be our transfer point. So, like I said, we have a long uh, way ahead of us to try to find Hasby the robot. And it's going to start by heading to the south, uh, heading toward that lava field. But that's what we'll do uh, in our next episode. So take care. Have a good one. Thanks for following along. And have a good day. Thanks for your support. Have a good day. Bye.